okay the the next thing i'm going to do is instead of using this drop down or combo box i'm going to use the list box uh, they are almost similar things uh, except here you select uh, the only you only see the selected item here you can see all the items but only one is selected so i'm just quickly going to delete this guy and instead of that drop down i'm going to use the list box you can just uh, name it the same way arithmetic okay here's the labels here's the label so i'm going to use it arithmetic operation and here in this list i'm going to type my options for example addition and then the subtraction then the multiplication and the division so these are my options and likewise uh, as we did in the case of combo box or the drop down menu uh, we need to identify which uh, item is selected it's uh, similar to that of uh, drop down menu that uh, after detecting that which item is selected will require will perform the required operation upon these two inputs and will will display the result here so this means that we'll essentially need the switch statement again to detect uh, which item is selected so we can use the uh, previously uh, used code and uh, here's the code I'll just this time we don't have that drop down menu instead we have the arithmetic option list and uh, we have its value okay so i'm going to just quickly copy this same thing and i'm going to paste it here okay so this one is the push button callback function and this this is the spinner one callback function so i'll just quickly run it okay so here I'm going to raise the value and since the addition is selected it's going to add now I'm going to choose the subtraction and if you can see since uh, subtraction is selected uh, by pressing the push button or using this guy we'll see the value the newer value now it comes to it comes to multiplication and now division so you can see it it almost uh, worked the same way as the uh, drop down menu uh, the switch statement does the job behind the scene okay one more thing is that when we we are using this app we know that spinner one uh, when the values change the result changes input 2 it doesn't matter un unless we change input 1 or we press this push button even if we change this item still we need to uh, press either this button or change the value this is this is because we have only <coughs> two callback functions one is for the uh, change in input and another is for the pressing of this button we can also create a callback function for this particular uh, list box or also for that drop down menu that we handled in the previous case so if we select the list box we can create a new callback function you can see the previous two callback functions are here that says the button pushed and input one spinner value change we can also uh, the, create a program that respond to the change in the value of list box so 
the same way I need to copy all this code and I'm going to paste it in here okay so the, I'm just going to comment it out so the the reason uh, for doing this is that I, I want my program to even respond to the change in the uh, selection of item in this uh, list box so now here is the here are our two numbers and if I press subtraction you can see now the value changes even for the uh, even by just clicking the item have a look so this this thing gives you a much better idea that if you want your program to respond to uh, clicking the list box by choosing a different option in the drop down menu raising or lowering a value in the spinner pushing the button you need a different callback function and uh, in that callback function you need to write almost a similar code as in the others if, if just in just in this case um, talking about this particular case if you want your program to respond uh, to these action as well.